So this week for How To Week, I'm going to teach you guys how to thrift store cosplay like a champ. Now you might be asking, Amanda, why are we doing thrift store cosplay? Why not you actually just show us what real cosplay is? Um, mostly because thrift store cosplay is synonymous with, oh, I was going to go to this con and I just decided at the last second to cosplay something, so I went to the thrift store and threw something together. Well, the problem with that is... There are so many things you can do right with thrift store cosplay and so many things you can do wrong with it. So I'm out to set things right. So what we're going to do today is set up a casual cosplay for me to use. Um, I say casual because my cosplays are normally extraordinarily not casual. Hint right here. And cost several hundred dollars. I have a list of cosplays that I want to do, and this next one I feel like I can do it pretty well. It's Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z. Stop! The number one thing that can make or break what your costume looks like and how good it is, is your hair. If you're going to budget cosplay, be prepared to spend at least $25 on a good wig, unless your character looks like you. Android 18 looks like me. We have a similar haircut. I can easily tease my hair up to be able to look like hers. It's not going to be a huge leap in believability. Do not buy hairspray that's the colored kind that you can just spray over your hair and be like, ooh, look, this is me. No. Do not do that because most people, they just cover their hair and they forget to do the underside. If you're going to do that, most it usually works with guys because they can comb it through their hair really easily and it's already short and it can easily cover every single aspect of their hair. Ladies, do not do this because you will get your picture taken and put on a bad cosplay blog and then you're just going to be embarrassed. I'm trying to say this in the nicest way possible to save you some embarrassment. It is the number one thing that can make or break your costume. If your character has red hair with yellow stripes in it, buy a red wig and then buy the synthetic hair clips. You see my hair right now, I have some blue streaks. These are synthetic hair clips. They are $7 at Hot Topic. It is so easy to buy them. There are ways that you can dye your wig to be the way that you want it, but unless you're really confident in your abilities to do it, it's really difficult and I don't recommend newbies to do that. So just please, 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 please buy a good wig. The first thing you need to do is have a clear picture of what your character looks like. If possible, have pictures from multiple angles so you can see exactly the types of clothing you're looking for. Don't be afraid to have to let a few of the littler details go. In my case, I had to go with three quarter length sleeves instead of full sleeves. They're still sleeves and still the correct kind of black and white stripes. For the jacket, I took a jean shirt, cut off the sleeves, and then ironed on the Red Ribbon Army logo. That's just felt and iron on patches. Next came the fun part, Frankensteining the shirt together. Really, if you managed to come away from the store with little need for reconstruction, you got super lucky. I was just lucky that the sleeves and the holes on the black base shirt matched almost perfectly. If you give yourself more than a week to get your materials and cobble the costume together, you'd be surprised what you can put together. I spent about $10 to make this costume. I already had the skirt, the tights, and the shoes. Work with what you have, and if you don't have particular attachment to something, don't be afraid to modify it for your costume. Alright, I'll see you guys next week. Call, I'll see you tomorrow.